The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. Listening is one of the basic skills of communication and relationship, and even very necessary for bonding. To listen involves, number one, hearing, for sure. It involves hearing, but not only that. It involves much more than hearing. It involves, too, full attention, to pay attention. And it also involves being present, you know. We want to listen to someone, have to be present. And it also involves, above all, being silent. And being silent means not being distracted, just like attention. And interestingly, someone mentioned that silent and the listening has the same number of words and the same type of words, but said differently. To listen and to be silent are just the same thing. Think about that. One of, one of the games of listening is that when you listen carefully and attentively, you are informed, you are educated, you learn. And like we said, you understand even the speaker or someone who is communicating to you. But if you do not listen to the person, you may not understand. And when you don't understand the person, the speaker, nor the message, then there is trouble. There is trouble. To listen is very important in our physical life and also especially in our spiritual life because for us to understand God or to understand our mission or ministry or apostolate, we need to listen to God. Just like Jonah listened to God and was able to do what God wanted to do. And today, Jesus Christ has to remark and point out that Mary was doing the best thing, listening to him. When we are in the church, we listen to God. We hear his word. We understand him. When you listen very well, when we listen very carefully and very well, our faith is more informed, and our actions are more motivated. We know why we are doing what we are doing. But if you are not listening, you cannot be convinced about whatever you are doing. So to them, my brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ encourages us to listen to one another, to listen to each other, to listen to ourselves first. You've got to listen to yourself most often. I have to listen to one another because the word of someone close to you could change your life, could be a message from God, could be something God wants to communicate to you, but you weren't listening. He may choose to do that through someone else. Like you listen to the homily, you read the Bible, you pray. When you do all these things, these are indirect ways of 
listening to God. Because when we pray, we do not just talk to God. We have time to listen to God. So we are encouraged to keep up our practice of listening to God. Having the desire to hear him speak to us. And having the promptings to do his biddings. May God bless us all.